And today I'm with the guys from Grid Free. They've set up a company for selling kits yep. to people with batches or with RVs in New Zealand and you can install them yourself. So there's companies who will sell you all the components and then you're kind of left to your own device of how you want to install them. You're not really given that much guidance. And then there's companies who will do all the install for you and you obviously pay a premium on all the components and all the labour costs for that. And so we notice there's a massive gap where people, they w want to know what they should buy, what components all work together and they want the support and the guidance and the instructions on how to put it all together. So that's what we came up with with our, our selection of kits. All right, so these are the five kits that we sell. So the biggest kit we do is obviously the Freedom Kit, which is eight panels and eight batteries. Then we drop down to half the size with a batch kit and then a little bit smaller again with the tiny house kit. And then we have the two kits that are more suited for RVs and camper vans, which is the Weekend Worry Kit and the Starter Kit. What it comes with is a charge controller which converts the power generated from the panels down onto a voltage and current suitable for the batteries and then we have an inverter which converts the energy stored in the batteries into an AC waveform which is suitable for household appliances like a hairdryer or a microwave oven or anything you need to run and with the starter kit it does come with mounts that are specifically designed for an RV so all the mounts are made of ABS plastic and they're designed that you can actually glue them to the roof. So you bolt the mounts to the panel and then you glue the mounts to the roof of the RV. So the type of um, sealant adhesive that we use is the Sealy's uh, roof and gutter. So this one here is a neutral, neutral cure silicon sealant and adhesive which is perfect for this kind of application and this type of plastic. Um, also included in the kit are all the cables. So with solar panels, you need cables with specific connectors on them to connect into the panels. So we supply all our cables pretty crimped. So all you need to do is cut it to length and then strip the cable ends on one end, which you can terminate in the breaker and then make that run from the breaker into the charge controller. So this is a t what a typical off-grid setup looks like. So you've got your battery bank storage, you'll have an inverter and a charge controller, and then you'll have all your circuit breakers. So between the batteries and the inverter, between the charge controller and the batteries, you wanna make sure that you have um, current protection in case there's any faults or anything. It's just gonna make sure that nothing gets damaged or nothing um, catches fire or anything like that. And we've got our solar panel cable run that goes all the way across up onto the roof. So in this setup, what we do is we've just got an extension cable that runs off the inverter. And then we have everything here running off that extension cable. For the starter kit, just for example, I was set up with a 400 watt inverter, which runs my laptop and my camera batteries, but it's restricted. I have to be kind of a bit careful with what I run on. So this. With the starter kit, you get a larger size, so it gives you a bit more freedom. <laughs> yeah. So we can even upgrade the starter kit from the standard 600 watt to a 1500 watt inverter, which Zed's just brought down here. So this is a great, um, great upgrade if you're looking to run stuff that you need a little bit more grunt for, stuff like a hairdryer or um, a coffee machine or a microwave or a small kind of toaster oven. Just some more of the kind of nicer home luxuries that you might want when you're out camping. Do you have to keep an eye on how much power you've got to be able to use some of the bigger controls? Yeah. That when you are using these high power hydraulic devices is that it will start discharging your batteries. So if you don't have a lot of sun and a lot of um, solar energy coming in to make up that difference, you can start drawing your batteries low. Mm -hmm. So as long as you're only using these kind of appliances for maybe five, 10 minutes, and then there's probably like a nice sunny day where the solar panels can then top up the energy used from the batteries quite quickly. So how did the company form? So everything kind of kicked off and got started when my father bought some property up north. So he had a small cabin built on his land and then he decided to get power connected and he talked to North Power about them installing power and getting power run to the cabin. And the quotes he got were around $40,000, yeah, which he just thought was absolutely insane because all he wanted to do was run a few lights and the small kind of amenities you want in a cabin. 
And so he started talking to solar companies um, to get solar installed on his property. And he really struggled to get any kind of quotes or anything that was under $20,000, which was just way outside of what he wanted to spend. Mm. So then he started talking to people who supply components. They were kind of a little helpful, but they didn't really step him through exactly what he needed mm -hmm. and what would work with each other. They kind of just wanted to sell the components and have him be on his way. I'm an electrical engineer. I kind of knew a little bit of this stuff, so he kind of dumped it on me to kind of solve this problem for him. And so we kind of started looking around and working out what would work with what and trying to get a solution together for him. Mm. And that's kind of where Zed came along. So he's got the Chinese connections. His father is a businessman in China. Mm. And we kind of through those connections, we kind of got hooked up with companies that supply really high quality stuff out of China. Yeah. So we got Jinko solar panels and these Oleda batteries, which is some of the best stuff that comes out of China. Nice. And so we started piecing together kits mm. and realized that there was this massive hole in the market mm. where there's people who will supply components with no real advice and there's people who will do absolutely everything for you and so of course the number eight DIY Kiwi way we're like all right we'll, we'll kind of meet in the middle there and supply kits with all the support and instructions you need to install them with stuff you know it's going to work so you don't have to buy anything twice yeah yeah I like that that you can get a kit and um, so even if you're not completely yep you don't completely understand the process. Yeah. You've got all the parts that can Yeah, yeah. We definitely try together. to explain to you the best way, mm. um, simplest way possible yeah. to help you understand how everything works. Yeah. Um, when I got into this, I had no prior knowledge of, of solar work, <laughs> yeah. of how any electronic works. But, yeah. you know, Ethan ran me through it and uh, mm. two years in, pretty comfortable installing it came myself. Nice. Yeah. 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 So has the company been running for two years? Then? Yeah, two years now. Yeah, that's great. Two years. Yeah. <laughs> I think this year is when it's really started to pick up. Yeah. I think the first year, as with all businesses, exactly. you start to struggle. Yeah. Um, but really hard to get your name out there. Prove and yourself. Get yeah. customers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we even spent a lot of time trying to piece everything together. Um, mm. Yeah. Because not everything we get from overseas um, fits the New Zealand standards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Not everything fits our quality assurance standards as well. Um, mm. I mean... Our customers have always been our biggest advocates. So, yeah, um, like starting this year, I'd say that like a few of our customers who we sold larger kits to have just turned around and be like, "Oh man, just absolutely blown away by this!" Mm -hmm. Like, um, we've always wanted to go solar, but it's just never been affordable for us. Mm -hmm. And now, finally, we've actually been able to have something that we can afford mm -hmm. um, by doing some of the work ourselves. So, on this style of charge controller, you can kind of see like uh, very basic, like on a cell phone we have got an indicator of how much uh, storage how much energy is in the batteries so as you start to draw them down you'll see the bars start to disappear but the more accurate way to look, find out exactly how much charge is in your batteries is to look at the battery voltage you'll see like 14 volts when it's fully charged and as you start to use energy out of the batteries and the charge drops down you'll get to about 50%, which will be about 12 volts. And to get the most life out of your batteries, you don't really want to be dropping much below that 12 volt um, limit. So the batteries that we supply with all of our standard kits are a 12 volt, 200 amp hour gel battery. We really like the gel batteries as they're a much more versatile, much more tolerant kind of battery. You don't have to worry about any gases venting out of them. You don't have to worry about if they're on their side or how you mount them. They're just very stable and very durable. And because they're a gel construction, they're really suitable for solar, which means you can actually draw them down quite low and charge them back up again with a lot of cycles and you don't really negatively affect the life of the battery. So we also allow you to upgrade to a lead carbon battery, which is a bigger, heavier battery, but it means that you get a lot more life out of the batteries. So you might get five to seven years out of these batteries and you'll get seven to 10 years or even more than 10 years out of the lead carbon batteries. So another battery option we can do is a lithium battery. So lithium batteries are a lot more expensive, but one of the biggest benefits of lithium, especially in the RV camper van situation, is the weight of it. So a lithium battery will be a quarter to one third the weight of one of these batteries but there are a few things that you really want to be careful of with dealing with the lithium batteries is that you want to get a quality battery that has a really good battery management system as everyone kind of knows and it's all been in the news and media is that there is a potential for fire with lithium batteries so you don't want to get the cheap JCAR lithium battery you want to make sure you get a really quality battery with a good BMS that you can 
feel safe having in your sleeping quarters. So with all our kits, we provide a detailed instruction manual. And if you need any extra help, we're always here. If you want to send us an email, give us a call or talk to us over Facebook Messenger, we're always happy to help and help you step through any issues you might be having, uh, give you any advice or try and troubleshoot if you, you are having any issues. So are you starting to get the old RV or kind of... Yeah, we've always yeah. had um, the few RV and camper van people come through. People. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the most famous ones that people always kind of look to is the Orca bus, which you may have seen. Yes, that's how uh, I got to know you guys. <laughs> yeah. They have the four panels on their, their yeah, bus. Yeah, I, th I think the blog post on your website popped yeah. up on Facebook in one of the groups. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. me and Ethan always talks about this, is that people might always have the fear of running out of power. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So they always want to step up. Um, yeah. But we always tell us, tell customers, get what you want now. Um, mm. There's potential to grow in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Come back to us and let us know if you want to get you know a few extra panels along the way. Mm. So, yeah. True. Your batteries are run, always running low and thing. But yeah. most of the customers are really happy with what they get. Um, yeah. And yeah. Adjusting your lifestyle to it. Um, yeah. Being quite conservative. Yeah. Conservative on um, just being aware at night. Mm. Yeah. How much you're using. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because I guess there's always been kind of two philosophies with mm. that with solar. Whereas one is you go, all right, what what, what do you want to run? Yeah. And then a lot of people are like, oh, I don't really know. <laughs> and then so they just start yeah. going through the list. Yep, I'll have a TV, I'll have a microwave, yeah. I'll have this, I'll have a fridge, I'll have a freezer, I'll have this. <laughs> and then, also, and then um, people go, oh, all right, yep, we can do that. Uh, it's going to cost you $30,000 to have a solar yeah. install that's going to meet all your needs. And then people go, oh, never mind, I'll just not install yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, so what... The philosophy we kind of take is to go, mm. all right, if you want to spend $5,000, this is what you can run. If you want to spend mm. $10,000, this is what you can run. Yeah. Or if you just want something that's going to be able to charge phones and laptops and mm. lights and all that stuff, um, then just go with our starter kit, which is $1,800. Well, I find New Zealand RVing, is, it's best to have solar on it because we yeah. have enough sunshine. To yeah. kind of handle yeah. it. Yeah. 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 But I guess it definitely gives you a lot more freedom. Like you don't oh, yeah. have to park at a specific campground where you know there'll be yeah. power. You can kind of be yep. a bit more adventurous, a bit well, more free. I've I found the best campgrounds are the ones yep. that you don't plug into. All right. So it makes oh, sense yeah. To, yeah. to be set up. Yeah. Be a bit more independent as yeah, well. Yeah. 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 So I'm an advocate for solid. It's <laughs> <laughs> good to hear. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just a big thank you for letting me come along and ask all these questions. That looks heavy. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>